Hi everybody, I hope you guys are having a great evening. And today I wanted to talk to you about my overclock and undervolt settings for my GPUs. Since the last video that I've made, I made a couple of changes on my setup and I've actually combined several GPUs together, some of my AMDs and some of my NVIDIAs into one rig. Right now it's 10 GPUs together under one setup and I'm gonna increase it to 12 and I'm already, already making a video about it. But today, let's just talk about the overclock and undervolt settings and I'll show you guys kind of the, the settings that I have so that you guys can apply the same thing. I'll tell you what works for what GPU, for what memory type, and then you guys can go ahead and do the same thing on your end and see if it works for you. Now, uh, let's go to HiveOS. So as I mentioned, I kind of consolidated the GPUs together and put everything in the same rig. I got one, two, three, four, four RX 580s, and all of them are of Samsung memory. And this is critical because you're going to notice that depending on the memory Samsung or Hynix or Micron, um, the settings, the overclock and undervolt settings are going to be different. So just keep that in mind depending on what you have on your end. So four RX 580s and one, two, three, four, 1660 supers, one 1070 and one 1070, 1070 Ti. Now I've already gone through this one, so I'm gonna be kind of like looking on the side and going through uh, the settings that I've already applied and have worked for me. So let's just kind of start off with the with the Samsung RX 580s. In HiveOS, if you open pretty much uh, the uh, overclock or the configuration tab right here, you're gonna be able to see all the settings that you have to put in. For core clock, what worked for me is 1150, core state index, uh, I put it as two. You can hover over the information um, circle over here and kind of read what this is about. But basically, um, two means it's, you know, uh, I put it at like a lower voltage consumption. Uh, this is dynamic power management uh, value. Uh, core voltage, we're gonna put it at 950. Memory clock, we're going to put it at 2100. Uh, memory state is going to leave it empty. Memory controller, we're going to leave it empty. And memory voltage, we're going to also put it at 950. And I will do, I'm not going to touch the power limit because my core state it controls my power limit as well. And then I'm going to hit apply. And then you, you want to wait a bit until kind of this kicks in. Now that this has been applied, um, I'm going to do the exact same thing for all these. Uh, three, so 1150, 2, 950, uh, 2100, 950 for memory, memory voltage, and I hit apply. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the third RX 580, um, 1150, 2, 950, 950. Uh, sorry, core clock should be 2100, sorry and memory voltage, sorry, memory clock should be 2100. And the memory voltage should be 950. Apply. Again, the last one, core clock is 1150. Core state is two. Core voltage is nine, 950. Memory clock is 2100. Memory voltage is 950 as well. We're gonna hit apply. What I've noticed with HiveOS is that sometimes when you apply settings, it's a little bit buggy. It doesn't work all the time. So just kind of give it a little bit until you see that it successfully applied the AMD settings. And then if it, if it kind of doesn't do anything, just refresh and see uh, if anything changes. So the cool thing about this and why we do this, the reason why we overvolt, where we, we overclock and undervolt is, is to get to a certain point where the GPU is performing at an optimal or maximum hash rate for the lowest power consumption possible. And for the RX 580s that are Samsung memory, I'm kind of expecting somewhere in the 30s. And we'll see if we're gonna get to that when we start our miner. I'm gonna refresh and, and see if this kind of kicked in. I see it worked for this one, this one, this one, but not this one. So I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, core clock is uh, 1150, core state is two, core voltage is 950, memory clock is 2100, memory voltage is 950, and I'm gonna hit apply. And I'm gonna give it a sec. Now, um, 
my 1660 supers i have one i have at one two three that are high necks and then one of them is samsung so the settings for those are going to be different the high nexes are actually fairly easy and all you got to do is what i what i've done and worked perfectly for me is i go to memory clock and then i do one zero zero four and then i actually apply a power limit of 80 watts and i know that this in the past has worked well for me and have given me 31 to 30 maybe sometimes 32 mega hashes uh, quite stable so it's quite critical that you pick a combination of values that, that are going to get you stability what that means your rig is not crashing you're not getting invalid shares or stale shares uh, you, the system is not hanging or completely re rebooting and that requires a little bit of experimentation uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other Hynix 1660 Super and the exact same thing for the third one. I'm going to actually give it a little bit to kick in. As I mentioned, Hive sometimes is a little bit buggy. Look, so right now, this is, this, is, this is an NVIDIA card and it's telling me uh, AMD overclock and it's trying to apply it. It shouldn't. It should say NVIDIA. Yeah, it says NVIDIA settings applied with errors. So I'm going to check why. I'm going to refresh. So it looks like this one, this one through, this one through. Okay, doesn't look like there's errors. We'll see when we start the miner if there's any issues. Um, we're going to do the third high next one right here, minus 1004 and 80. And then the final one that we're going to do is the Samsung one. And what has worked out well for me in the past is for the core clock, we're going to do minus 200. For memory, we're doing 1150. Um, and then for power limit, we're also going to do 80. And then we're going to see if that works out well for us. And I'll kind of uh, run the miner towards the end. We'll go through the values that we're getting. Now, the final two are going to be my 1070 and 1070 Ti. And both, both of these cars are actually power hungry, so I'm looking to kind of replace these fairly soon or upgrade them. But what has worked out well for me has been core clock at 150, memory clock at 1100, and power limit I've actually kept it roughly around 110. Every time I kind of like try to bring it below 110 watts or 105 watts, it gave me instability issues. So we're gonna do that. So for the 1070 Ti, we're gonna do the exact same thing. They have the same memory type, micron, micron. And we're gonna do 150, 1100, and then 110 for our power limit. And we're gonna hit apply. Now, I'm getting a whole bunch of errors and I'm gonna to try to figure out what is the issue by starting the miner and seeing what actually kicks in, what's working, what's not working. Every time you do this, it requires you to do a little bit of troubleshooting. The cards might act different. The uh, there's you know element of silicon lottery where things that, you know might not work the way you expect them to. Um, kind of run with some baseline numbers and adjust them. I'm going to refresh. Okay, so it's giving me a whole bunch of errors. So what I'm going to do right now, I've noticed that uh, all of my overclocks on the volts have been applied. So this one's okay. Uh, this one's okay. This one's okay. 1070 is okay. 1660 Super is okay. 1660 is okay. Super is okay. 1070 Ti is okay. And all my RX 580s. Okay, let's do this. Let's hit the fly cheat and hit apply and see what happens. So because, because um, Hive OS doesn't react quickly for me, one way of me trying to figuring out whether something's actually working is actually to open a Hive shell, which allows you to remote access into your miner pretty much and see whether something is working well or not. So I'm gonna do that right now and we're gonna go into it and see you know, what are the cards that are being recognized and the hash rate for every single one. And I'll tell you exactly what I'm expecting out of everyone. 
RX 580s, I'm expecting 30 mega hash and above at around 80 watts. 1660 supers, I'm expecting anywhere from 31 to 32 at around 80 watts as well. The 1070, I'm expecting anywhere from 26 to 28 at roughly between 100 and 110 watts. And the 1070 Ti, I'm expecting uh, 30, could be 31 at 110 watts. So this is kind of my general expectations of uh, the GPUs. And we'll see if they're actually doing what they're supposed to do. All right, I see over here that it recognizes the GPUs. The GPUs are actually kicking in and running. Uh, 10 GPUs, which is correct. I do see that number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven are not actually doing anything. So one's working and then eight, nine, and 10 are working, but nothing in between. Okay, no worries. So in this case, what I usually do, first thing, I actually reboot my miner. And I wait and see if the settings that I've put in after rebooting actually kick in. So you just need to get to a point where your rig is stable and just don't touch it anymore. Don't fiddle around with it, don't play with it. Maybe you can optimize things here and there, but don't do a whole lot of fiddling around if things are working well. I've rebooted. I'm gonna refresh. My RX 580, the first one is giving us 30. 1660 Super is giving me um, 31, 31. My 1070 is giving me 27 and a half. My other 1660 Super is giving me 30. So that's a little bit low. We got to optimize that a little bit. 66 Super is giving me 30 as well. 1070 Ti is giving me 31. And RX 580, 1, 2, 3 are giving us above 30. This is amazing. So let's look at, and here they are. They're starting to report the values. If we refresh right now, amazing. This is exactly what I'm looking for. 30, 30, almost 32, almost 32, almost 27, almost 30. So I got to figure out why this is kind of like underperforming a little bit. No worries, if, if it's close to 30, I'm okay with that. If close to 30 and it's stable, I'm okay with that. I can kind of fiddle around with the memory over here and seeing if it does anything. Um, 1660 Super, uh, 32, uh, 1070 Ti, 31, this is amazing. It does consume a lot more power though. Between, you know, the other 1660 Supers are 80 and this is 110. And all the RX 580s are roughly around 30 something, 30. One final refresh. Okay, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. So in this video, we've covered the 580s, Samsung, 1660 Supers, Hynix, 1660 Super, Samsung as well, 1070 Micron, 1070 Ti Micron. And I'm gonna do another video where I cover uh, RX 480s. So I have two RX 480s that I'd like to cover and I will also cover a 360Ti of Samsung memory as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a great evening. Let me know if you have any questions, if anything doesn't make sense, or if any of the overclocked I did not cover over here, I might, have, you know, I might, I might already know them and I could kind of let you know in the comments or something like that. Take care guys, bye-bye.